So the future then is created by a clear intention and an elevated emotion, now listen closely, that you have to cultivate in your inner environment of thoughts and feelings. But most people by the old self are living from past memories that are created from knowledge and experience from something that happened outside of them. Some experience or trauma that defined them. And getting a person beyond the old self then is the great work. That's what we're here for. So, we've studied motivation and I can tell you without a doubt that the highest form of motivation in any culture, in any group of people, is what's called purpose motivation, duty motivation, or mission motivation. You know what that is? To have a vision to change a culture that's bigger than you, to instill change in the world. Look at Elon Musk. How many people know who he is? Elon Musk, he created Tesla Motors. You know him? You know who he is? He created an electric car that can go from zero to 60 in less than five seconds. And before him, electric cars were like golf carts that cr you know, crawled along the road. And he said, I'm gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I have a vision. And I'm gonna get the best engineers in the world and instead of creating a new product and selling it to a corporation, I'm going to get a group of people to share the same vision as me. I'm going to change the world by changing our reliance on oil. And I am going to make a difference in the world and I am going to make a lot of money. Why not? And so people said, no, that's not possible. And he held on to that vision. And now Motor Trend Magazine never rated a car a, close to 100. They rated the Tesla car 103. It's the best car on the road. And it relies on no gas at all. That's a vision of the future. High motivators are some people who have a vision bigger than them that are going to change the world and make a difference in a culture. That's the highest form of motivation. Right underneath purpose motivation or duty motivation is what's called personal conviction motivation. We call these people self-starters. This is entrepreneurial motivation. This is when you say, I'm going to do this because I said I was going to do it. Still a high form of motivation, but not the highest form. But what we know, that people who have purpose motivation naturally are personally convicted. Their, their personal conviction is in alignment with their purpose because they have a reason to get up every day. The next form of motivation is called ethics motivation or morality-based motivation. This is not the highest form of motivation. And this is based on polarity, good and bad, right and wrong. And people then, you know, they're trying to be good, but they're really bad. And they swing back and forth. They preach one thing and they do something else. And a lot of the models that are based on, well, <laughs> a lot of models are based on this. But we know from our research that people who have purpose, motivation, have a vision that's bigger than, bigger than them, that are personally convicted, have a great sense of morality, a great sense of ethics because it falls right in alignment. The next form of motivation is called ego-centered motivation. This is for acclaim and recognition and importance. But we know then that that's not a very high form of motivation and it never lasts. But people who have purpose motivation, have personal convictions, have a strong sense of ethics, naturally receive recognition. It's the end product. Now look at the lowest form of motivation. What does that say? Money motivation. People who are money motivated, you will spot them out in a crowd because they are selfish in their endeavors. 
They will take care of themselves first before they take care of others. It's the lowest form of motivation, but our research shows if you have a vision that's bigger than you, that's to change something, where you contribute to the whole, you have strong personal conviction, a strong sense of ethics, already receiving ec a recognition and don't even need it, the money always comes. It's the natural flow. And we call that, in our work, affluence. You know what the word affluence means? To flow to you. People who are affluent don't go and get anything. People who are affluent have it come to them. That's who they are. It's a reflection of their state of being. How many people are with me? So then, when you have a purpose or a vision or a mission or an intent that's bigger than you, it means it signifies something that's ongoing. You could have a purpose to go east, and there's never an end to east. You could have a purpose to be healthy. There's always more health to have. You could have a purpose to be wealthy. There's a never an end to wealth. You could have a purpose for knowledge, and there's never an end to knowledge. It signifies a direction. My purpose is to transform individuals in order to transform a culture. And I'm clear on that purpose, and it gets me up in the morning every single day.